Well, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you're as big as ultra running geeks as I am. I follow the sport. I'm interested in all the ultra running happenings going on around the world. Uh, always cool races going on, athletes, but one I've been following uh, since before we moved to Colorado, but uh, even more so now is, is Candace Burt. I don't know if you're familiar with Candace Burt. She lives in Boulder, Colorado. She's a race director, puts on the Tahoe 200, uh, other races as well. Uh, ultra runner, been running forever, but she's been doing a streak, uh, an ultra marathon streak every day. I think today was the start of day 82. Today is day 82. Just starting day 82. And so every day for the last 82 days, she's been running 32 miles or right at 32 miles per day, basically a 50 K per day, going a little bit extra to make sure she doesn't get, uh, you know, shorted any, any mileage. Cause she is doing it for a record. She broke the record. I think the previous, uh, Guinness record was like either 11 or 22 days. And so she blew that out of the water and she's still going uh, 82 days. Uh, to, the day you're watching this will be 83 days. Something like over 2,600 miles already uh, for in this time period. Uh, she's running rain or shine or snow, out, all of them outdoors, not on the treadmill. Uh, primarily runs in road shoes, even on the snow, uh, like just crazy. So uh, it's awesome. But if you're not familiar, check it out on Instagram. Uh, Candace Burt, I think it's run Candace run on Instagram. And uh, yeah, she does reels like every day, giving an update. And it's really cool to follow along. So also really cool uh, today, coming back from picking up my daughter at school, uh, apparently Joe Gray, runner for Hoka. He lives, I believe, in my neighborhood or very close because I saw him in my neighborhood. Uh, I know it was him because he was dressed in Hoka gear from head to toe, Hoka shoes. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. So uh, maybe if... Uh, he does an easy day. I could do a tempo day and keep up with him because that guy is fast. Anyway, I did also get these from Solomon. These are the Solomon S Lab Pulsars. They've been out for a little while. Uh, really awesome and very exciting shoe, like super crazy lightweight. Uh, I mean, this is like under seven ounces in a men's size 11. Uh, so I am super excited to test these out. I'm gonna try to take them out this weekend. Um, it's gonna kind of be weather dependent because we are getting more snow and it depends on where I'm gonna run. So. Uh, if it's gonna be lots of deep snow, I probably won't take these out because they only have like very short lugs and they're very breathable. Uh, I don't want my feet to freeze, but we'll give them a shot. Those are exciting shoes. I know uh, I know Seth James Amore, I think wore those when he won the Pikes Peak Marathon one of the years. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fast, speedy shoe. So this weekend I do have a long run planned. It's gonna be in the afternoon, probably on Saturday because I have some plans in the morning. Um, so I got to get out for a couple hours. Won't be able to go too long, but a couple hours on Saturday and then do another run on Sunday. I'll be back up into the 50, 55 ish miles is kind of where I'm trying to be. I don't want to go. I did, I did a little bit too much last week. Last week ended up being uh, 60 miles and coach really wanted me to stay closer to 50 just to kind of adapt to that for a little while since I'm building back up, trying to build healthy. So I want to come back down a little bit to, you know, 50, 55 uh, miles, you know, probably about the same nine, 10 hours on feet. but. Uh, should be a good weekend, uh, aside from the weather. So we'll see what this snow brings. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna try to get outside anyway. I don't care if it's snowing, you gotta have good gear. And, um, you know, luckily awesome companies like Tracksmith have sent me good gear. So I'll get out and test it and get a review video put out on that, hopefully here pretty soon. But anyway, that's what's up. Just, uh, you know, I'm a, I like ultra running. I like anything trail and ultra running. I like watching uh, the running in the Olympics. I mean, it's, I like running, so I follow it all. Hopefully you guys do too and get excited about seeing these records being broken. I know there was another cool record. It's, it's been a while ago now, but um, Jackie Hunts Borsma, I believe is her name. She's like a, a double amputee and she set a record for running, I think it was 104 days of consecutive marathons. Uh, she was on the Adventure Jogger podcast, a great episode, just super inspiring. So all that stuff is so cool. Follow the sport, you guys will be inspired for sure. And hopefully, uh, Get inspired to go out and run some miles yourself. But anyway, that's it. That's what's up. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. If you have not already, why don't you take a look at the Saucony Endorphin Edge review I just put out. A shoe that I was, uh, I did not like at all when I first tested it, but then uh, I was just using it on the wrong trails because now I love that shoe. So check it out. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you on the next one.